Hi, I'm Nick Coleman, Microsoft Business Solutions MVP. Moving Dynamics 365 portal data is not as hard as it looks. With the right tools, the right equipment, and the right timing, it can make it look easy. Like this. So for my two minute Tuesday tip, I'm going to show you how to move portal data as easy as this 405 pounds moved. Alright, I'm back from the gym. That was pretty easy when you think about it. 400 pounds? Not so bad. How can we make moving portal data just as easy? It's pretty simple. I have my portal up in front of me now. I've made a lot of configurations, added some web files, added some entity lists, some entity forms, that kind of thing. I want to now move it from my dev system to my production system. How would I go about doing that? If you actually look at the portal app, you'll see that there are a lot of records. I have a lot of web pages. There are a lot of other things, entity forms, entity lists, shortcuts, web files, the list goes on. There are over 60 entities to consider while moving portal data from your development to your test or production. How would we go about doing that, moving all those records? It's, we wouldn't export them and import them for Excel. We'd have to find some better ways to do that. Microsoft's answer to this is using a tool called the CRM Configuration Migration Tool. Now, it's not a bad tool, and it does move certain parts of CRM configuration data from one system to another. The problem is, for portal data, it's a little bit complicated. There are many-to-many -many relationships to consider, file attachments, turning on and off plugins. So, while it is doable, it is very tedious and very time-consuming. A better way, i found, is using the XRM Toolbox plugin called Portal Records Mover. The XRM Toolbox is awesome. Anyways, going to the Portal Records Mover tool, I can go through and basically quickly load the portal items. It's only going to load the portal entities. That's great. I can then go in and unselect certain things. I find invitation and paid notification gives a bit of an issue. I've also unselected notes because it will grab all the notes from your Dynamics 365 system. We don't want that. We do want the attachment files like the images and CSS and things like that. That will get moved over with the web file. Make sure that's selected. We retrieve our records, and then we'll have all of them that we're going to move over. Now, I could actually filter based on the date when they're created or modified. I also like to pick the specific portal I'm moving from, and I also only want to get active records. But those choices are up to you. I can actually go through and pick a certain entity, like site settings, and maybe there's certain things I don't want to move over. Maybe there's certain URLs that are specific to your dev or test environments that you don't want in production. You could go in and unselect those particular records so they're not brought over. Once you've done all that, you simply click export records, you export that to an XML file, and then all of that portal data is now exported. So what you should do is move that to source control. What I've done now is I've connected now to my destination system. This could be my production or test that I want to import the portal dev data from. So again, all I need to do is go to the portal records mover record once I've connected to my system and then click on import records. I then go and find my dev portal data that I exported in the last step. I click on open and then I import all that. Now it will ask me to disable um, the plugins for web pages. Good idea or else you're going to get duplicate web pages. You will notice it will go through and begin to process and import all those pages. It will tell you where there's a success. If there's an error, it will give you a chance you can go in and find where it's not working. Once it's done, it's going to be adding rec records to add references. So it's going to add all those links and relationships that are between the records. This is an important step. For some of your portal won't work. Then it's going to be complete and ports complete. And that's all there is to it.